Using astrology alongside your small business accounting is extremely powerful. After all, JP Morgan Chase said that millionaires don't use astrology, billionaires do. And when the ultra wealthy gatekeep something from you for literally millennia, then you know it is incredibly powerful and it's probably part of the secret sauce that can take your business to the next level. I was talking to a client today during an intake call and she asked me, how do you use astrology with a business like mine? And this is how I explained it to her. When you get a transit reading from an astrologer, either for yourself or your business, essentially what that does is that gives you an overview of the good, the bad, and the ugly of what could possibly happen during the year. So if you're a business owner and your astrological chart seems to indicate that you are going to have a baby in the next year, what I would do as a fractional CFO is I would look at your budget and forecast that we had put together and start putting money aside for that maternity leave. And if your transit chart seemed to indicate that you had some kind of legal risk, then as a fractional CFO, I would advise you to set aside money for legal expenses and advise you to get with an attorney for a VIP day, make sure your contracting is zipped up tight, make sure that you're saving for outside counsel should you need them. Astrology isn't there to tell you exactly what's going to happen and when, it's there as a tool. And when you use this tool along with other practical tools, you become unstoppable. If you are a multiple six-figure business and you would like a fractional CFO who is open to leveraging astrology for your business planning, head to the top of my page and let's have a chat about what that would look like to work together. I have limited openings for Q1 and I'm already booking into Q2.